Today I'm going to show you how to make a boost tester. This will work pretty much on anything turbocharged. Pretty simple. Um, I was looking to do a boost test that's just turned over 100,000 miles. Um, it's 05 Dodge Cummins. And I was just searching eBay, figured I'll, I'll find a boost test kit, no problem. You know, 20, 30 bucks, just buy one. Uh, they're like, you know, 60, 70, 80 dollars. And uh, that's not gonna work. So I'll show you a couple tricks here quick. Uh, super easy. One trip to the store, uh, 20 bucks, maybe, maybe less. And you'll have yourself a pretty nice little setup. Uh, there's really no magic to this. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is just measure couplers and uh, run to the store. This is pretty straightforward. I'm assuming if you're tinkering with your turbocharged vehicle that you probably have a cold air on it. And it also comes with the silicone that you need to adapt a coupler. So I'm gonna pull this intake tube off quick. We'll get a measurement and keep moving forward. Got the intake tube pulled off, no big deal. We'll just measure up between your boot here. Uh, looking right at four inches, makes it easy. This is the, obviously the feed to the turbo. Um, yeah, this is where we're gonna pressurize it at, so. Um, three inch should work just about perfect for mine. Let me run and grab a couple, a coupler real quick. And be right back. Yep, a schedule 40 PVC cap. All we needed is exactly four inches. So it fits perfectly into my original air intake coupler. The other side will screw right onto the end of the turbo. Um, what we're going to do is use just a regular valve stem. You can pick these up. Pretty much anywhere um tire stores o'reilly's whatever they're usually a buck something like that two bucks whatever uh, then we picked up a low pressure gauge this came off amazon i think it was like seven dollars eight dollars something like that you're gonna need a tap of course a couple drills um, i'll get you all the sizes and everything and all we're gonna do is drill a hole and tap it thread seal our gauge in drill a hole and pull our valve stem into it and now we can put regulated pressure to it hit this to pump the system up good to go well, a lot of uh, engines you're going to have to probably cap the uh, air intake side just because it will um, bleed out intake valves that kind of stuff the cummins you shouldn't have that problem at all so worst case scenarios if you have a gas engine especially you're probably going to want to Pull either um, coupler at the intake, measure that as well, and get another cap. The caps, they range, you know, from a couple bucks, maybe up to seven, eight dollars per per cap. Um, either way, it's going to be a lot cheaper and a lot easier. And that'll pressure test the whole system, intercooler, and everything. So for the quarter pipe, you need a seven sixteenths drill bit, and looks like about a half inch drill bit for your valve stem. And just mark off where you're going to put it, kind of stagger them, so that way your gauge fits easily here. You can easily access the, the valve stem and you should be good to go. I'll get these holes popped and uh, tap it out quick and we'll get her on the truck. One thing to note, the Schedule 40 is pretty thick and there is a seat basically for this thing to pull through. And if you try to pull it through how thick this is, it's probably going to want to slide out on you. So I took a step bit and sank it down about halfway through before I stick this uh, valve in. I wanted to kind of show you, that way it's got something for that upper lip to kind of catch on to keep it from falling back out. Once you put pressure to it, of course, it's gonna to push it out of the fitting, but just for uh, a little note's sake, if you don't have a step bit, grab one of those. Yeah, there we have it. The uh, little trick with that step bit worked out perfectly. It snapped into place easily. Uh, you can get a valve stem kit that comes with a bunch of the tools and everything for about 10 bucks if you don't want to go that route, if you don't really ever plan on replacing any of your own valve stems. Yeah, a pair of pliers works too, just to pull it through. Um, yeah, this is pretty simple. A couple minutes. Probably end up saving about 50 bucks on this project. Let me get this screwed on um, and we'll test her out. Now that we've got the assembly all together, uh, one thing to note is that we're probably going to want to scuff up this cap with some sandpaper. I'm going to actually probably take my uh, grinder wheel and just make a lip because inside 
this boot, you can see there's a couple grooves. Something to help bite it onto. I'd probably take like some 120 grit sandpaper and just scuff the end of it, put a little line in there with the grinder just to kind of help hold it on. You're not gonna be able to pump this thing up to 100 pounds or anything wild without it pushing the coupler out, but just something to help keep it in there. I'm gonna try to get it somewhere around like 10, 15 pounds. I doubt I'll be able to get it up to 20 PSI, but you should know if you have a leak by then. So give me a minute, scuff this thing up quick and we'll get around the truck. I just took my little cutoff wheel, made a couple little lines on it. Nothing too scientific. Scratched it down with some 180 grit or whatever. And then took a little brake clean and uh, just went ahead and sprayed it out the inside of the coupler, make sure there isn't a lot of grease or whatever in it. I'll get this on the truck here quick and we'll put her to the test. All right, and now I got the little rig on there. We can start adding pressure to it. Like I say, I'm probably gonna try to break it up to around 10, 15 pounds. Let her kind of hang out there for a second. Let's see if we can get 10 pounds out of it. There's 10. Now from here, depends on how you want to go about this. You can spray everything down with soapy water if you want, but you should be able to just be quiet and listen. You are going to lose a little pressure just because it's going to be seeping past the rings. But you should get a pretty distinct hiss if any of these couplers are leaking. And I hear nothing, which is good. And like I say, it is going to bleed down, which it has. But it should give you enough time to kind of listen to it. I'm going to try to pump her up just a little more. Stock trucks make about 25, 27 PSI, so. I know my cap will hold 10, no problem. Let's shoot for 15. Um, about 12 is what I'm gonna get out of Basically, all you can hear is just a little bit leaking past the rings. It's going to work fine, especially if it's cold. If you want it to be sealing a little better, probably start it. Let it get to operating temp. But I'm pretty happy to say that these 20-year-old uh, boots are still holding strong. But uh, hopefully that saves a little bit of time and money. It was really easy. Put together a couple minutes. Still holding pressure pretty good. And um, like I say, under 20 bucks, probably five, 10 minutes, you should be set. This will work pretty much on anything. Just measure it up good. If you really want to get technical, stick another cap over here, but I don't know if it's really worth it or not. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we'll keep uh, trying to make little interesting things to help save some time and money in the future. Thanks for watching.